gown length is 41 my shoulder is 14 and a half my sleeve is 8 my round sleeve is 13 my bust is 37 and a half my honor bust is 31 my waist i don't really need my waist all i need is my bust and my 31 since it's a free gown even my hips measurement i don't need it all the measurements i need is 41 which is my gown length my shoulder which is my 14 and a half then eight my sleeve my round sleeve even the sleeve too i might do a free a shape sleeve so i don't really need my round sleeve too so let's go straight to so this is my fabric i folded it i folded a small portion out of it that should be enough for my first cutting just fold your fabric into two like this at least the two yards material should be enough so my first measurement is my gown length which is 41 inches 41 plus 2 inches that is 43 so I'll cut my 43 half for the shoulder joining why the remaining two why the remaining one and half inches I'll fold it under half and one and one that is one and half so I'll mark here or let me just cut it down straight since I don't have much there I'll cut it down give it a shape just give it a downward shape not too much though but give it a nice shape here measurement you divide your shoulder by two your shoulder by two which is seven three quarter exactly what i measured here which is seven three quarter i'll measure the same here too seven three quarter here so my bust is 37 37 divided by four here is 28 29 30 31 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. Let's just round it up to 38. 37 and 9 and a half is my 38. So plus 2 inches. I'll be adding 2 inches to it. So 9 and a half plus 2 inches is 11 and a half. 10 and a half is 1 inch. 11 is 11 and a half is 2 inches then I will mark it there I will mark it there don't forget this is my where my shoulder measurement stops then this is my bust measurement just give it a straight line from that measurement give it a straight line make sure it's straight then for your shoulder to give it a straight line too. Give your shoulder a straight line too. If you have a ruler, you can use your ruler to make sure the line is straight. My underbust is 31. 31 divided by 4 is how many inches? This is 32. That is 7 and a half. This is 20. So every quarter every quarter of it times four is one inch so it since my five is 20 five quarter is 21 five and a half is 22 five three quarter is 23 six is 24 then you keep counting like that till you get in times four is 28 so 28 29 30 31 so my seven three quarter is equivalent to 31 which is seven times multi seven three quarter multiplied by four which is 31 then i will add two inches to it seven three quarter plus two inches is nine three quarter then i'll cut nine three quarter from here 
I'll give it a nice shape since it's a shape gown. So we are not going to just give it a nice shape. Don't bring it out too much from here. Give it a nice shape. You can also place your ruler to get a sweet, straight shape. You can also use your ruler. I've gotten my own shape like this. If you've gotten this, then you cut it out. <coughs> cut it out first. Now, to get this, your to cut this, your armor. Since here is my bust measurement and here is my shoulder measurement, just from this point, measure two inches. This is the two inches. The measure half here. Measure half. So I'll give it a curve. I'll make sure the points, all the points meet each other. Look at it here. Can you see that? Then make it go inward with half inches. Half inches. Just half inches will do. Then bring it back to the half that you measure here. That is exactly how to get a nice shoulder shape. Then I'll cut it out. That is exactly how to... Now, we are going to cut this out too. simple design at the chest of my gown I'm going to use at this horizontal the horizontal measurement will be two quarter while the vertical measurement will be three quarter two quarter if the person you want to make the dress for is a bit fat you can use you can make it three and half and here will be two quarter. You can make it two and half highest. So you give it a nice. Here, I'll measure three inches. Since I've already cut five, three in and half here. I'll make sure three and a half here too. I'll make sure three and a half here too. I'll give it a nice tiny shape to this point. Yes, this is exactly what. So this time around, I'll be turning my dress since I, my shoulder. Don't forget we cut this side first. So this time around I'll be cutting this side because my shoulder measurement is a bit shorter here. To maximize my, my, my material, the way I cut my material, I have a bigger part here. So my, my material, the way I cut my material, I have a bigger part here. So... So this is what I will do. I'll bring it down a bit because I'm, I'll be adding to my shoulder. I'll be adding. Don't forget to add your zip allowance. Your zip allowance is very, very important. If the, if the dress is a bit free, you can decide not to add a zip allowance, but I'll prefer adding a zip allowance to be. So I'll be very comfortable with my face. See how many inches I'm adding to my zip allowance. This is one quarter. 
but at least you can add one and a half but I still have someone I want to cut this material for because I'm sewing exactly the same style for my baby. So here I've added a small inches for my zip allowance. So I'll cut, I'll trace exactly the same thing out for all the parts. Just watch me and follow the step. Just follow the step. to my shoulder measurement so it can fall a bit to the front add one inch to it which is here then I'll give it the same cuff I'll give it the same cuff you add half inch to it here too make sure you give it a nice cuff so from here I will be cutting it out so from here I'll be cutting I've given it a shape here so then I'll cut it out if you follow this step by step then you will see that making dress is very easy so I've finished cutting here the next thing I'll be doing is cutting my back neck yeah. so here is it here it is then give it a shape too so then you cut it out just give it so we've cut it out now then i'm going to open my back watch what i'm doing so that you're not born open the wrong side just slit it open it for your zip measurement for your zip joining and that is all now what i want to do now is i told you like i said earlier like i said earlier i want to give i have a black material that I want to use to just do a simple design at the chest. I'll go ahead and cut the material into two. Fold it. Then I'll place this on top and trace my shoulder out first. First of all, trace your shoulder out first. I'll trace my shoulder out before I talk of the sign. Trace my shoulder out and including my neck. I'll trace I'll trace the neck out too. How to be very careful. Why are you doing this too? So this is it. Then I'll cut this part out too. I'll cut this part out. Make sure it's equal. Make sure it's equal. I'll cut it out. So after this, the next thing is to bring out my arm hole too. I'll bring out my arm hole. Then I will think of the style I want to do with it. So I'm done with this. The next thing I'm going to do is. No, no, no. Okay. I'm just thinking. No. Just 
you create, you can think of any design. Just think of any design. This is my own design. You can think of anything. Just think of anything. And put it out. So this is my design. So I'll, if I place it now, you will see what it will look like. I will open my clothes. And place this on top of it. I hope you can see that. So this is exactly what it will look like by the time I'm done. Thanks for watching.